What's up guys, it's by here, bringing you some more Apex Legends gameplay. We got a good video today, we got some nice charred rifle shots, and some really good tips and tricks and general advice I'm going to be giving you guys today for Apex Legends, so hopefully it'll help you become a better player. Get right into the video here today, thanks for this guy's going to make a push on me, I'm running a little bit low, see? He's also using movement, I'm using the movement, I'm saying it in like all my videos because I'm just trying to drive the point home. That movement is a huge part of this game, you gotta be moving left to right. It's gonna help you win way more gunfights. So try to incorporate it, you don't really do too much. Just a little bit here and there will really start improving your game. Right there you saw I had a pretty good charge rifle shot on that guy. Then I just took out the R301 to finish him out. Still in the same area. We're spotting these guys out. In a little bit of a stalemate. I'm just putting down whatever shots I can on people. It's always what you want to be doing. Charge rifle's a little bit weird. You gotta like hold your shot and hit it for a while. I land here. Boom, had a real nice, perfect 94. Get that guy down. Uh, crawling out to my teammate, listed seal. We want to push these guys. I just put the rest of my clip all into them. So we got one down, a couple of them are low, and we just bum rush these guys from the Pathfinders if they made. We get two down just like that, and then there's not much the last guy can really do. He has low round, he tries contesting, last ditch bit of an effort, makes a run for it. Whip out the charge rifle, want to get fancy with this guy and finish him off with a nice no scope or something, and boom, <laughs> just take him out right there. Pretty good. Charge rifle is a fun gun, no one is really using it. Try it out, guys. It's pretty good. The only thing that sucks about it is it is only four shots. It's a little bit slow firing of a gun, but man, if you get all of your shot onto the guy, it hits like a truck. Start trying out different guns, makes the game a little bit more fun here and there. So right here though, uh, I actually dropped the charge rifle um, to the RTL1, the ammo receiver is just too good to pass up on, and like I said, that charge rifle does get a little bit tough with only four shots, whereas the r one you can just spam all your shots, and then you run out of sniper ammo too, so the real reason I dropped it is just that you not have enough sniper ammo, but I'm spotting these guys out, doing that octane speed, jumping, making a little bit of a new hit, taking these guys out because I knew they were pretty low. Wiping out that squad here. Boom, we're down to the last two other squads. Three squads total. Pushing with our, our teammate. I saw him pushing in here. We didn't shot. I was a little bit confused at first. So I'm just trying to get movement while I'm reloading. Laying down whatever fire I can on these guys. Right here, I do not take that fight because of the cost of gas. It's just so tough to do. So we, we're just skipping a little bit ahead of time. We went to give Laza some backup took out the guy that he was having some issues with now it's just down to one other squad clear this guy out uh, lasering him down but he throws that that annoying caustic gas so i have to get out of there uh, spot some other guy out and i'm as you see there i'm actually not doing the up and down crouching but i'm moving left to right with my stem, with my stem. so it's actually it doesn't look like too much but it's making me move a lot more it's making me much harder to be able to Finally getting that pesky caustic down, and that's going to be the final one to the match. As I was saying, you guys don't need to be doing crouching, you don't need to be do jumping, just a little bit of left to right movement, especially with Octane, that's something he's super good for. He's got the stem, you can use that stem and then your movement becomes that much better. That's why I think he's a little bit of an underrated character, but we're already on to the next video here. Got the flat line, back on world's edge. With my boys, Tracker and Amigo, shout out to them, shout out to Mr. Q in the last video, and the Bodega Cats, They're right here, at the flat line, know this guy, I heard him rushing me, the flat line is so good, it's so strong now, it's just hard with that recoil, but uh, a blind fire like that, when they slide in on you, is perfect, you spot this last guy out here, and then I just mow him down, for a quick, easy, three piece off the bat, there was a revive ship just went off, so we're looking to push that at the longbow. Know this guy, he's going to be only two shots, so I can get him down pretty easy like that. His teammates are off there in the distance, so we're going to try to get a push in on him. Do land a shot on him, so I know he's a little bit low here. Pushing in, waiting out. It's another one of those pesky caustics, but I'm able to actually just shoot him through the window there. For quick easy kill. Boom, there's a guy on my right. Wasn't too prepared for him, but man, like I was saying, that flat line, it really, it just melts people. 
If you haven't tried it out, I definitely suggest you try out the flatline. Once you get the recoil down, it's honestly it's one of the strongest guns in the game. It's it's that strong. Super powerful. Right here though, two people in these guys. Taking the one guy out, he didn't have too much of a chance. They just got done with that fight. We run in, mow him down. Only one other squad left now. I'm a little bit late to the party. Zooming in here, trying to give my teammates a bit of help. Spot this guy out here who only one one shot, so the hammer point takes him down real quick. And now we know it's just this one last guy, and it's three of us, so he doesn't stand much of a chance. He can use that stim boost, he's gonna be God. We all just bum rush him, and he just didn't have much of a chance there. I wanted to say thanks so much, guys. Appreciate all the comments, likes, and subscribes. And I will see you all in the next video.